Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is a mini lesson in developing and using models. Level one, what is a model? You can see as I open this up that there's a whiteboard. That means that we're gonna be doing some drawing in just a little bit. Um, but when you're looking at modeling, the model and the icon that represents that, it could be anything. It could be an atom, it could be a solar system, but it's not a phenomena. So a model is a representation of a phenomena. It's not the actual phenomena. It's just a way of us representing the phenomena so we can better understand it. So the first thing you always want to do is identify what's the phenomena I'm trying to explain and then you develop a model. A model is gonna have three parts at the easiest level. It's just gonna have the components or the important parts of the model. It's gonna then show how all of those components are related together. And then the final thing that it's gonna have is it's going to have a description. After watching this video, you should be able to develop models of your own for phenomena like dominoes falling down or what causes a shadow on a sunny day. I'm gonna show you my, th my modeling as we look at a two gear board, and then you'll have a chance to do some modeling of your own as we look at this solar powered flower. So let me get these out of the way and then we'll get started. So the phenomena that I'm going to try to explain is this two gear board. So we've got a gear on this side that I can turn with my hand, and then we've got other parts that are moving as I turn this. And so the first thing that I want to do uh, whenever I'm modeling is to define the phenomena that I'm trying to model. So the phenomena that I'm trying to model is this two gear board. So we're going to create a model of that. First thing you want to do is you want to figure out, okay, what are the important components that I want to model? Because I could model this at a lot of different levels. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down below, what are the important components that I want to include in my model? So the parts that I included in my model are going to be my hand, because that was important in the, in the working of the model. Also the two gears, the board, and then I included the handle. And you can see some hierarchy here as well. Now components don't have to be physical things. I could model sound, I could model light, like anything that I can think of, I could include in my model, and it could even be processes. But now what I have to do is I have to decide, okay, if this is the important components of the model, how am I gonna represent the model? And so when you're just getting started on modeling, a really good way to model is to just draw what you think is going on. So I'm gonna take the components and I'm gonna put them on, organize them on a whiteboard. Okay, now we've got a rough drawing, I didn't spend a lot of time, of all the components. The gray gear, and you can see the handle's a part of that, the orange gear, and then the board. And now the next thing that I have to do is I have to identify what are all the relationships. So how is the hand related to the handle? How is it related to the gear, the orange gear, and the board? So I have to think about all those relationships between the components. So what I'm gonna do next is draw those in. Okay, so now I've got the relationship. So I have my hand turning the handle, which rotates the gray gear, which turns the orange gear. And then the role of the board in my model is that the board holds the gray gear and the orange gear together. So now I'm almost done with my model. I've got a representation, but now all I need is a description. So I have to describe how my model works. So let me write that in. Okay, so now my model has a description. So when you're looking at a model, I generally wanna read the description first. So I would say, turning the gray gear handle causes the orange gear to turn. And now I can look at the model and I can see on there, oh yeah, the hand turning the handle does actually turn it. And so this is a model. A model is not a phenomena, it's just a representation of a phenomena. And a really quick way to go through it is to just define the important components, then show how all of they're related, and then describe the model. So what I'm gonna do is now clean all this up and you're gonna have a chance to create a model of a phenomena of your own. Okay, for the second phenomena, we have a solar powered 
flower. So it's a flower that will start to dance. It has a little solar cell right here. And so if you flash a light at it, so let me just turn the flashlight on. So eventually what will happen and you shine on the, you can kind of see the shadow there. As you shine it on the flower, it's just going to start dancing. And so our phenomena is going to be the dancing flower. You may want to include things like the flashlight as well. So what I encourage you to do is pause the video, then try to develop a model with components, relationships, and a description, then unpause the video, come back, and I will show you how I created a model myself. Okay, the first thing I want to decide on is what are the components? What are the important components as we think about the phenomena? So let me uh, write down the phenomena and then we'll write down the important components. Okay, so the phenomena that I've uh, written down is the dancing flower and the flashlight. The important components are the flashlight, the button, and the bulb. The light that goes from the flashlight to the flower, and then the flower and the cell. So these are the important components. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to represent this dancing uh, flower and flashlight. And so I'm going to do a simple drawing, and then I'll get into relationships. Okay, so now this is the phenomena. So we have the dancing flower and the light. So this is the phenomena over here, but now I've created a model. What are the components? I've got the button, the bulb, the flashlight, the solar cell, the flower, and then the light. So what's the next step I have to do? I have to determine what are the relationships? How are all these components connected together? So the relationships on here is on the flashlight, I hit the button, that turns on the bulb. That bulb makes light. You can kind of see the lights moving. It hits the solar cell and that makes the flower dance. And so this would be my model of the phenomena. All I'm missing now is just a description. I have to have a written explanation for how the phenomena works. Okay, so my description is this, light from the flashlight hits the solar cell and that makes the flower dance. And so these are all the elements of my model. This is just a conceptual model of how it works. And so now that I've shown you how to model, you could uh, do the model of dominoes. I've got some links in the slides below, or you could even model how light works uh, and shadow works on a day like that. But these are just simply models. What are they? They are models of a phenomena, but they are not the phenomena. They're just a representation of the phenomena, and I hope that was helpful.